You look beautiful. I need you to zip it up. I'm so happy we went with this one. It's perfect. It is beautiful. I would have liked something a little less princessy. Amelia. What? It doesn't zip all the way. What do you mean? It doesn't fit you. Yes, it does. It has to. It's too late to get it altered again. Try one more time. Suck in. No, <sighs> it doesn't fit you. Did you break your diet? Excuse me? Why doesn't the dress fit? I don't know, Johnny. Did you break your diet? Well, I... <laughs> It's a simple yes or no answer. I did. Michael and I have started doing date nights. Oh God, what for? To better our relationship. You're getting married. What could you possibly need to fix? I didn't say fix. It's just to spend some more time together. We got into a bad fight recently. He told me oh that- Oh my God. The jewels are popping off at the seam. Hang on. Can I continue? What does this have to do with you breaking your diet? We've been going out for dinner. Every week? Every Thursday. It's the only day we both have off work. We chose Thursdays because- Ow! Sorry. Only dinner? Sometimes we get dessert. Only on Thursday? Some Fridays when we have leftovers. But that's not the point. Can I please finish the story? Please do. We started fighting a few months ago. At first it was only little things. But it only got worse. He told me he... Ow, Jonathan! Are you even listening to me? You're fighting. Every couple fights, it's normal. Forget it. I wasn't finished. Neither was I. Why are you fighting? Just forget it. Oh, so now you're not gonna tell me? It's not like you would care anyway. I'm asking you because I care. You didn't care to listen a few minutes ago. I just wanna get out of this dress. You can't, I'm not done fixing it. And no one's downstairs- It's not all you care about. I'm sorry, I'm doing it for you. Just like I've done everything else for you. You're a wedding planner. It's not that much of a stretch. Oh, so what I do is easy? I didn't say that. Yeah, that's what you meant. You never listen. You only ever hear what you want. Yeah, well, you never have anything valuable to say. You don't listen to what doesn't pertain to you. Yeah, you're one to call someone selfish, Amelia. It's my wedding. That I organized. I found the venue. I had to taste every cake flavor because you wouldn't even bother to show up. I 
don't even want to get married. That's a great thing to say a week before the wedding. Why did you say yes? For you. What? I did it for you. I did everything for you. But you don't realize that because all you think about is yourself. How exactly does your marriage help me? I have plenty of clients. I'm well off without your pity. I did it so you could finally get your own wedding. That doesn't even make sense, Amelia. I'll have my own wedding when I get married. Can you find a nice girl? When are you going to tell them? Where are we in this picture? I don't remember. Some hotel room, I think. Mm -hmm. Is this the weekend of Zia Maria's wedding? I think so. Do you remember when I proposed to you after the ceremony? I thought for sure we were going to get married. It was cute then. It's a little creepy now, though. When are you going to tell them? Tell them what? Are you serious? I try to stand up for you whenever I can. But you can't even admit it to yourself. I have nothing to say. When are you going to tell them you're gay, Johnny? You are so selfish. Do you even know how excited they are for you? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but seeing as though you don't even want to get married, it doesn't matter. They bought you and Michael a car. What? Yeah, it's parked in the garage, some soccer mom type minivan. Why would you tell me? There is so much excitement surrounding your engagement. They can't even contain themselves. But if I ever get married, the last thing they're gonna feel is joy. You don't know that. You haven't even given them a chance. Given them a chance? All I've given them is chances. Every time I have to run something by them, they have the same comments. Have you found a nice girl yet? Nobody wants to marry the wedding planner. In a few years, no one will even look at you. They didn't say that. No, it's what they meant. If it's so easy, you do it. Fine. What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? What the hell is wrong with you? You've only been making this more difficult. Excuse me? Do you know how much work I've put into this? Do you know how much money I've spent? You can't just cancel a week before. There's cancellation fees when it's that close. And don't even get me started on the flowers. You wouldn't even keep a single arrangement at your house because of Michael. He's allergic. No one is deathly allergic to roses. I feel like a florist. Maybe before you try to tell me how to live my life, try getting a hold of your own. Try getting a hold of your own. He cheated on me. What? With some girl from work he knew from high school. I don't even remember her name. But he would go visit her every Thursday and tell me he was at work. How do you know that? He told me. Why would he admit to that? I'm not sure. Maybe he thought I would leave him and call off the wedding. But I didn't. Because we already paid the down payment and I knew it was non-refundable. That's why we started date night. That's why I broke my diet and I can't fit into my dress anymore. And that is why I don't want to get married. Maybe this is something you should have said a few months ago. Maybe you should have asked a few months ago. I know how much work you put into this. And I wanted you to have your dream wedding. But not once have you stopped complaining. I hate this dress. It was over the budget. It's ugly. It doesn't show my figure. And I can't even fit into it anymore. But God forbid I don't want to marry my cheating fiancé. At least he told you. Yeah. At least he told me. Fuck you, Johnny. Just because you can't get married doesn't mean I have to. Okay, 
Can you zip it up, please? Come and have a picture with your sister. Say together forever.